right at midnight in November for five minutes, the ads in Times Square switch off and science switches on. The images are the work of filmmaker Noah Hutton, who is an avid iWire player. It's a crowdsourcing game, meaning anyone with a computer and an internet connection can play. But while you play, you're actually helping scientists map the brain. Some of the images Noah is showing here are taken from the game itself. It's important right now to be, to be open with your data, and that's what iWire is doing, is they're publishing data and they're allowing you to actually interact with it. I wanted to do something similar here in Times Square, where I take the visuals from the leading labs around the world and I, may, I put them in an open space and to be presented with them, not being sold on anything, but just to see them, to, to react to them. iWire is the creation of the MIT Brain Research Institute in Boston. Amy Robinson is the creative director of the iWire Lab. The team hang out online with some 160,000 players from 145 countries around the world. It takes 50 hours for a single person to map one cell, and there are 85 billion in a human brain. It would take a huge amount of staff and time to get the job done. But if you make a 3D puzzle game out of it and you have hundreds of thousands of people playing it online, you can collect all the data in a relatively short time. And you need just a few administrators putting the final data together. Who is this that looks like neurons in here? If you do this enough, you eventually sort of learn what a neuron looks like, what things are real, what things are not real, like what... Uh, you sort of get a sort of like a, a gestalt for like what it looks like. Crowdsourcing in science is arguably a paradigm shift in the scientific method as a whole. You know, no longer do you have to have a PhD in neuroscience to contribute to major neuroscience discoveries. Now really all you need is a computer and an internet connection and an interest in gaming. The more people play, the sooner the team can map the neurons in our eye. That's why iWire is now developing from a puzzle to an even more fun game with characters and music to relax players who can play up to 35 hours in a row. Music will really help players to get more and more immersed into the experience. So it'll help make playing the game like more pleasant and more enjoyable. And I think it'll lead to players keeping engaged with the game like a lot longer. iWire proves that science can be fun. And by connecting online, players are not just enjoying themselves, but they're also contributing to a scientific discovery, helping MIT scientists to understand how the brain sees movement.